Hey, this is Nico from BMT. Today we're here at CE Week down in New York City. We're trying to look for these big name industries such as Intel and MSI so we can get the latest scoop on the new technology that will be released this year. I hope you enjoy the show. Alright, so I'm here at the M3D booth at CE Weekly with uh, Michael. Michael, what could you tell us about these very small 3D printers? Hey, thank you. So uh, these, these are printers made by M3D, which is a company based in Maryland, where we assemble, manufacture, produce, ship, support all of our products. And what you're looking at is actually the top grossing crowdfunded 3D printer of all time. We've sold more than 55,000 of these, which we call the Micro 3D Printer. Um, it sells for $299 regularly, and that's very entry level. We actually discount them sometimes a little bit more. And that's essentially our, our loss leader. It's how we get people involved in the field. Right. So they can decide if it's right for them, and then they typically move on to larger units. That's very, that's very nice. Um, what can the small printer print, for example? So all of the technology for consumer 3D printing is typically the same. It's based on a filament extrusion methodology, where you take a 3D ink or a filament or spool of material, and you basically run it through like a little tiny hot glue gun. And so as long as your printer's got quality hardware and good software and settings like this one does, then you can pretty much print the same things. The only limitation that you're going to run into is how hot can your printer get, how big can your print get, um, and a little bit on the software side. Uh, how long, what's the history look like for the company? So the company started in 2013 with just the idea of, hey, we can make an affordable 3D printer. No one's ever done this. Can we come up with a way to do it well? Okay. And what really changed the game for 3D printing, when we launched on Kickstarter in 2014, there was no 3D printer under 500 bucks. In fact, the saying always went, if it's under $1,000, it can't possibly be good. And so we had a lot of uh, expectation that this thing may not work out all that well, and it certainly took a lot of refinement. What we did that's very special is we took the printer, the filament that you print with, and the software, and we turned it into an ecosystem. And what we did is we created a one-size-fits-all software setting. Okay. So this is something that people uh, are still appreciating. What our software does, it lets you take our material, and we have what we call a cheat code. So for example, there's this little code right here that tells you what the filament is. You put that in the software, and it does all the work of putting in the right settings. So that, for example, you can move from section to section without having filament ooze and make a mess, or you can actually print pretty much over thin air. That's not something that most printers do out of the box. In fact, it can take you dozens or hundreds of dollars an hour's worth of filament to refine your printer to do the same thing. The one-size-fits-all approach means that you can print out of the box in just a matter of minutes. It does have one sacrifice, and that is that you print a little bit slower. So what you do is we want you to get your success first out of the box. Then as you become an expert, you can tweak the settings and improve speed and performance. That's, that's awesome. So it's very beneficial for the consumer. Yep. In the All right. Um, are there, is there anything that the small, like, for example, the big one over there, is that also a product of yours? Yeah, so we designed the Micro, the Pro, and the Pro Mega. The Pro Mega is currently live on pre-order on Fit for Launch. We launched it actually at a thousand bucks, and it goes up ten dollars a day until we, we hit our final map or MSRP of thirty-five hundred. And the reason we did that is we wanted to launch it a little bit earlier when there's more uncertainty, so people that believe in us and our brand and our product can get a really good deal. And then as more information becomes available, such as features or there's videos or reviews, things like that then people have to pay more for it. And so it was a, a really neat way to launch a product. Um, so we highly recommend that people back this if they want to do commercial applications or very large prototypes and have a bit more control over their printer. Because this isn't quite as easy to use. It's actually based on the open source philosophy. Software, firmware, electronics, and materials are open in this case. In these cases, it's really just the filament that's open. All right, so that's actually a very nice way of, of in a sense, pay, like giving back to the people that do believe in your company, giving them a cheaper pre-order for the big one. But also, um, for the small one, you said there were limits like size and heat. What, what is the heating sh like range? Like How long can this be on for? So the typical affordable consumer 3D printer is limited to printing in just PLA. Now PLA is a really nice material. It's what this thing is made out of. It's kind of hard, like, it feels almost like charcoal. It's, kind of brittle and you can make really beautiful models with it but the problem is they don't always hold up they uh -oh. can actually break at the seams do you want to print in something that's got a little more flexibility or give to it like ABS or nylon uh, in some cases PET G uh, or 
even this material that we created, which has a give to it, it's like a flexible leathery type material. You typically Whoa. need either a direct drive extruder, which all of our printers have, or you need a higher temperature extrusion nozzle or extrusion system. All the affordable printers that we've seen, for the most part, don't offer that package at this price point. Okay. All right. Well, these are all very interesting products, sir. Thank you very much for the interview. All right. So I'm actually with Ozzy Lopez down at the Pioneer booth at CE Week. What can you tell us about this radio replacement for a car? Uh, well, just like you said, it's a radio replacement. It's an aftermarket radio. So you, if you were to have a vehicle today that could replace the radio, this would be a, a, re a replacement option for you. Um, it comes fully loaded with uh, a lot of features, uh, including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, Spotify connectivity, Pandora connectivity, just to name a few features. Um, this is the latest entry into our next platform of products. This is the MVH2300 NEX. Uh, it's a digital media video receiver. Uh, does not have a CD or DVD drive, so it's really just focusing on your smartphone connectivity um, and a couple of other media options that you would have. Um, how much will this be selling for? Uh, this one will retail for about $400. Yeah, so it's pretty reasonable and it gives you Apple CarPlay, so you're able to actually get uh, the latest uh, uh, in, in Apple's technology for in-vehicle use. Um, the beauty of it is that you can actually interact with a lot of these applications uh, while you're in the vehicle in a safe manner. Um, so it's really focusing on minimizing the driver distraction. So you're familiar with the icons, the big bold icons. Um, and then you're using a lot of voice recognition to integrate with the vehicle or with the uh, uh, services. Um, this question. This says support for Android 2, right, I'm guessing? Correct. You'd actually be able to connect Android Auto. Uh, you actually uh, Android device, plug it in. Uh, most of the devices out there today that are Android compatible or Android devices are Android Auto compatible. So you simply plug in your USB device and it'll give you the same similar type of interface for Android Auto. Uh, will there be any bundles, say like speakers too, or, like, or is it just going to be a standard model for the rate? Uh, for speakers, you'd have to buy those separately. It would be like buying rims and tires type of thing. And Pioneer, I'm guessing, also has speakers for cars. Absolutely. We're one of the uh, world's leading manufacturers of speakers. Uh, we uh, have uh, several uh, options to choose from, several uh, uh, stages of, of speakers to choose from. Um, anywhere from pretty reasonable just to replace your speakers uh, in your vehicle or even adding more for audiophile type of speakers as well. Well, this sounds like a very interesting product and it's, it's, a, it's a perfectly great price for a radio replacement that has so much value for it. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you. you for the interview. All right, for the show. Hey, this is Nico from BMT. Right now I'm standing next to Dave Friedman who works with Canary. Dave, would you like to speak about your two products on the table? Yep. So uh, Canary makes a uh, smart home security camera. Uh, that started with this product here, uh, which is a, what we call a Canary All-in-One. It's a 1080p high-definition uh, video camera that's got temperature, air quality, humidity sensors in it, as well as a 90 decibel siren. Um, we rely on computer vision to detect if anything out of the ordinary is going on in your home when you're not home. Send you a notification so you can check in and stream, watch live. Uh, if you're not there, we'll re record it so you can watch it after the fact. Um, this is our latest product that we launched earlier this year called the Canary Flex. Uh, it's a fully weatherproof uh, indoor or outdoor camera that can run off a of battery or plugged in. Um, if it's battery powered, it relies on uh, passive infrared to know that motion is happening. Uh, and then it will start recording and send you notifications that uh, motion has been triggered. Uh, Canary also has uh, relationships with State Farm, Allstate, and Liberty Mutual Insurance. So uh, with Canary, you can get discounts off of your homeowners or renters insurance. We also have uh, Canary membership uh, plans, which extend your video timeline, as well as give you things like deductible reimbursement. So if you're a Canary member and you get a break in or you have uh, a fire, Canary will reimburse you up to $1,000 of your homeowners insurance uh, deductible. Thank you very much. Um, how much are the prices for each uh, individual? Uh, this guy, this indoor camera, is uh, 169 and the uh, Flex is 199 at retail. And for the Canary um, Flex, are you able to, are, did, are they supposed to be screwed into like the sides of homes or can they be placed? Yeah, there's in? multiple mounting options. It comes with this magnetic base here, uh, so you can position it any way you want. You could also go like this and put it up on the wall. We also have mounting options so we have the secure mount which more securely uh, mounts through a screw which is then attached to the wall and you can adjust it uh, we have this this one mount which is cool for like a, a, a baby's room 
you can attach it to something and, and watch what's going on. We also have a garden uh, mount where you can stick it in uh, like uh, the soil and mount it magnetically to that. It's very interesting. Uh, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. I appreciate the interview. All right, I'm here with Claude, who is at, who works for Clear at the CE Week uh, booth. Uh, Claude, what can you talk about for the headphones? So, Nico, welcome to CE Week. Thank this you. is the Clear booth. You know, we're all around fellow lovers of technology, and I'm glad you came by to talk you. about our audio product. So, a couple of things we're really excited about. This is right here is our Edge Pulse. This is a Bluetooth-enabled sport earbud, IPX5 water resistant, um, up to six hours of battery life. It's got quick charge capability, so you know if you're busy before you go to the gym, just wrap up a couple of emails, whatever you got to do, tie on your shoes. Five minutes of charge gets you an hour of playback. Really? Yeah. Um, it's a really really cool piece. Of course, it sits over the ears. You've got sizable earbuds, so you can get the comfort, the isolation, everything dialed in. But what really makes it special is the built-in pulse monitoring capability. So, you know, when you go work out, the idea is you don't just go and sweat. The idea is you want to hit a certain heart rate. You want to, you know, stay in a certain zone for a certain period of time, depending on what kind of achievement you want to, you want to get. So this has that capability built in, and it's compatible with most apps, Endomondo, Runtastic, Map My Run, etc. But it's also got an on-demand function. So if you just want to be antisocial, just have some quiet time at the gym, you know, you walk in, you're wearing these, you leave your, your phone in the locker, whatever have you, you can touch them, and the voice prompt will actually tell you your heart rate. So once you, once you start to understand where your zone is, right. you know, that 140 beats per minute is where you need to be, so then you know, you work your way up, you're like, okay, cool, 140 beats per minute, excellent, and you just keep going. Right. $149. Oh, that's that's a good price. Yeah, it's so a sweat resistant, all of that functionality for $149. Okay? Very, very cool stuff. Now, here we have this is a Bluetooth speaker. Um, looks very familiar, right? right Bluetooth right. speakers look like Bluetooth speakers. It's kind of interesting how 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 this fruit variety looks. But um, incidentally we just won a Best of CE Week award for this really? piece. Yeah, we won the silver award. This is the Stage Smart Speaker. Now, it's a Bluetooth speaker uh, enabled by 4.2, Bluetooth 4.2, digital amplification. You can see the uh, passive radiators on the end, okay? Uh, we can pair these multiple devices together for stereo or multi-channel sound, all right? But again, there's a little special yeah. discovery here. You notice I said smart earlier? Right. So. This speaker has Alexa voice service built in, but unlike other battery operated devices, this is always on. So voice control is kind of an interesting thing, right? Voice control. So I go, Nico, please play my favorite song. Okay, okay great. So let's just say we name the speaker Nico, all of a sudden the music comes on, great, super. But a lot of them you have to touch, so you have to prompt, so it's like, Nico, Please play my favorite song. Right, right. Well, okay. So if I'm not next to the speaker, how can I touch it? What's the point of voice control? Right. I always question this. It's it's me. You know. So with always on capability, far field. The point is, is that you can talk to your speaker. Say, for example, you just walk into the house, you throw your keys in the bowl, you're taking your shoes off, you want to listen to some music. Alexa, play my favorite playlist. And it'll play. And it'll play. That's now. Always on Alexa voice service with up to 15 hours of battery life at 129. That's a that's a great price for that. That's that's sick. Just go ahead and say it, Nico. That's that's sick. sick. That's pretty sick. Yeah. And it comes in not only red but also gray. And this has a sleeve so you can you know keep it safe right. and sound. This is aluminum. Really really nice piece. Um, IPX7 water resistant also. Okay, I was actually about to ask if it's water resistant. That's yeah, so IPX7 water resistant. Really, really cool piece. All right, so now. The big one. Here's, here's the big one. Um, so I've been touring around the country with this piece for some time now. Um, this is the next. This is our audiophile headphone. You can see the aluminum construction. 
Uh, it's an open-backed headphone. Why an open-backed headphone? It's for an open, wide sound stage, really, really relaxed listening right. experience. It's kind of like, do you like your wine fresh out of the box, or do you want it to air out of it? That's why everybody buys that fancy gadget to aerate their yeah. wine, etc. Right? Because it has a different, different experience. So. Um, Sheepskin with memory foam for ultimate comfort, same on the headband, really nice, really lightweight, um, solid hardware. These are Limo connectors, uh, nice quad core audio cable for supreme connectivity. But the magic really is inside, and that's the ironless magnesium driver unit. So it's on par with a planar magnetic or an electrostatic driver in the sense of the, the way the experience really unfolds. Um, I've alluded to the fact that this is a sublime listening experience. Right. Um, what happens with the with the with the driver, the way it's designed, is, is that it's a 40 millimeter magnesium diaphragm paired to an ironless motor drive. So that ironless structure actually is unique in the sense that the voice coil sits in a perfectly focused magnetic field at all times. Right. So, what does that mean? Low inductance. Right. Supreme efficiency. Um, low THD and free range of motion of the driver. So in the end, that electric impulse is translated to audio in a way that really kind of opens up your music. Um, I mean, I've got them. I've got this connected to the DPX1 right now. I listened to it last night on an iPad playing back high res, and quite impressive. Quite impressive piece. This will be available for $6.99 in September. So I know a lot of fans have been waiting anxiously for this piece. So um, definitely, I mean, proof is in the pudding, so you got to slap them on and listen to yourself. Actually, I did listen to it earlier before we did the interview. It's, yeah. it's really great. It's actually a really good headset. And it's a little loud here, so this, isn't, this is far from an ideal listening experience. But I guarantee you take these home and, I mean, you'll, you'll hear things in your music that you, you haven't heard in a while. Right. Maybe you haven't heard, period. So really a cool way to listen to your music without breaking the bank. So, you know, like we like to say it clear, be in the moment, right? Right. That's nice. All right, thank you for your thank time, Thank you, Nico. Sir. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, so I'm here at the Ghost Sun booth with uh, Peter, a, a worker for Ghost Sun. Peter, could you tell us a little bit about this solar product that, for the grilling and stuff? Yeah, so this is a high-efficiency solar cooking product. So essentially, it cooks your food without any fuel, without any propane, charcoal, lighter fluid, with just the sun. All right. Um, it, I, as it shows in the uh, pictures over there, is it, it's completely portable. You could bring it anywhere. Yeah. So essentially, because there's no fuel involved, you can pick it up and take it with you on the go anywhere. We actually have two units on display here. One's our smaller, more portable unit. It's kind of more for camping. This is more of our backyard, but it's still about a 25-pound dry weight, so it's easy enough to take with you and put in your car. Have uh, Have you tested it to like? Because solar panels. Seems like it would be a new topic to like cooking in a grill. Has it been tested for like meat and stuff to actually like work? Yeah, so this technology is, was developed in Cincinnati, Ohio, and we use this every day at the office. So we cook our meats, our vegetables, our lunches on these, these products here. So we've tested it for meats, for vegetables, for breads, even whole grains inside of there as well. Yeah. Um, so when did you guys first come up with the idea of a solar powered grill? So actually our founder and venture, uh, Patrick Sherwin, was working with solar on the rooftop in Bahamas. And these tubes were used to heat up water in the Bahamas back in the early, uh, early 90s. So he was using one, pulled it off of the, the house and realized there was still heat inside. So he slid his lunch down in there, had a hot lunch on the workplace. Fast forward 10 years with a few hundred prototypes and we have these great products. That's a very awesome and interesting way of creating a product. That's really nice. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Oh, one more question. Uh, where, can, where can we purchase these products as a consumer? So it's on our website, ghostsunstove.com, but it's also on rei.com, homedepot.com, brookstone.com, as well as a few retail outlets like Ace Hardware. Thank you again. Thank you thank so you, much. Nico. Thank I you. Okay, so I'm at the Tick Watch booth with Nicole over here, and she's holding, in fact, the Tick Watch. Now, Nicole, what can you tell us about the Tick Watch? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Uh, so I believe this uh, watch is a combination of cell phone and the feedback. 
like um, you could send in the email and receive phone calls from here, but also it has the functions of the feedback which you could track the health. Um, uh, such as the workout, so that it could know how much steps you are working today and what is your heart rate. And there is a built-in GPS, so it could also um, know the correctly uh, speed and uh, how fast like you ran and how far you go today. So, what differs that this from like a Fitbit or like a, a Moto 360 or an Apple Watch? Yeah, as I mentioned before, uh, I think m m we have more functions than Fitbit right. because we could make phone calls and receive emails. Right. Plus, we can just, uh, we consider ourselves as a technology company instead of just a watchmaker right. because uh, we work on the AI technology. So it's like the Siri, right? Uh, the, yeah, like Siri. Yeah, like the Siri uh, that Apple is working on that you could talk with them and they are personalized enough to understand you very well. Right. Uh, plus, I believe believe another is we are bringing, uh, our company's mission is bringing this kind of technology uh, in affordable price. So this new release one actually is on the early bird price right now. So this one is $119. Oh, okay, that's really nice. It's really nice, right? And this white one is uh, $99. So it's definitely a, a winning competitor when it comes to price against yeah, Apple Watch. Because it's super affordable with right. uh, enough functionals, with very compa uh, competitive functions. Is there a website where people could find it to buy? Oh yeah, sure. Right now we are having the, uh, having the only sale on the kickstarter.com and you could check it out. And plus this is our uh, company's name okay. so that you could search it online. Okay. Um, are there any other colors that will be coming in? Uh, for this season, we only have three colors, one in black and one in white. Uh, I personally like this one because you see you could change the platform really easily, so you can change the color. Oh, someone deleted the green color. <laughs> but I like it in pink, I think right. it's so cute. Yeah. Um, and also we do have a green. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well thank you for your time. Man. Thank you. This is Nico, signing out. Okay, so... Uh, we're kind of getting kicked out of CE Weekly, but it's all right though, because we had a lot of fun. We learned about a lot of new inventions, a lot of new things like the Intel Core i9 and MSI's new gaming computers, as well as these mini printers that only sell for $300. I don't know, it seems like a pretty good deal to me. Anyways, I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too, and I can't wait to see you guys next year.